Okay, so this is the measures of length. Okay, so we, we have here the measuring devices for measuring length, of course, we have. So, no ancient time, we used the footstep, yung, yung foot ninyo lakad, and then we have the handspan, okay, and Tagalog, we call it dangkal, the arm length, yan. And of course, a modern time now we have the ruler, we have the this, no, uh, the the pulgada, natawag ng ano ay ano yan? Gamit ang carpenter yan. And then ito, ano po yan? Measuring tape po, ma'am. Yes, it's a measuring tape. And then we have the caliper. Okay, so we have here, we have the scroll gudge. I don't know, hindi ko makita. Okay, so yan yung mga modern at saka ancient times ang ginagamit. And then we have the measures of length. So the, the fundamental unit of length in the metric system is the meter. Okay, so we have 1 millimeter is equals to 1,000 meter. 1 centimeter is equals to 100 meter. And one decimeter is equals to one or one tenth or tenth meter or one tenth meter and one meter, of course, one meter. One decameter is 10, ten meters and one hectometer is equals to 100 meters. And one kilometer is equals to 1,000 meters. So please be familiarized with the um, equivalent, no? So to aid in converting from one unit of, me of measure to another, the study the metric converter illustrated below. So we have here the metric converter. From kilometer to millimeter, so we multiply by 10. And from millimeter to kilometer, we divide by 10. Okay, that's ganyan ang ibig sabihin. So these rules are used to change from metric unit to another. Yeah, so to change from larger, you need to explain ko kanina, no? From smaller to bigger, multiply. From smaller unit to larger unit, move to the light and divide it by 10. So, yun your explanation. For example, uh, using your uh, metric converter, we have 3.432 hectometer. That is equivalent to 3,400 32.5 decimeter. So all you have to do is uh, move the decimal. Kasi 10 naman siya. So kung makita nyo sa, ano, sa metric converter, ilan yan? So we have, we're going to move here. Now 1, 2. So that means we multiply it by 100. Or pag, pag decimeter, mula dito. So 1, 2, 3, no, 4, 5, 6. So, ibig sabihin, ilang zero yung dadagdag mo, yun yung sagot mo. So, it's like adding, no? So, 1,000 ang nakalagay. So, because this decimeter, no? So, ibig sabihin, we have here from hectometer 1, 2. So, that is 100. That's why nag-move siya ng 100. Okay. So, dalawang beses ang takbo niya. So, from 0.3, 2. May mali yata dito. It's supposed to be here, no? And then, dapat ang ano niyan. Kasi decimeter, ah. Hectometer to this decameter. Ah, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mali din. No? Okay, so tatama natin to. Ilan takbo? 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. Okay, tama. So tama yung original na sagot. Yan. That is 3,432. No? Namali ako ng tingin. Ito pala ay ito. 1, 2, 3. Nagigets nyo guys? Nakakuha niya yung takbo nung ano? Hello?
Opo, Ma. Okay, in the same way, from millimeter to decimeter, tatakbo tayo ng, ng ano. Kaya, uh, ang sagot ay 2.6 cm. Or, ang gagawin nyo, pwedeng ano, um, ano yung una? Katulad din ito, no? 0.54 km times 10. So, we know that 10, ano yun? Times 10 lahat, right? Times 10. So, kung tatlong beses kang tatakbo from, uh, hirap mag-ano dito. Diba sa ang tandaan nyo, kilometer, hectometer, decameter, ano kasunod? Meter, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. Okay, so times sa lahat yan. From hectometer to decimeter, tatakbo siya. 1, 2, 3. Kaya tatlo yung tinakbuha niya. No? And then from kilometer to meter naman. So di, mula dito. 1, 2, 3. So tatlo din. Kaya ano yan? 584.7. The same way, from mula naman siya dito, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so tatlo din, 2.678. Kasi times 10 lahat yan, uh, 3 times 10 is 1,000. So 1,000 ang atakbo. Okay, so from meter to kilometer, it's 41 point. Okay, so tama, no? So complete it's um, to, uh, to make a statement true. So change from meter to uh, decameter divide by how much? Ang DA is decameter. So from, you need to divide by 10, no? So to change from hectometer to decameter, to decimeter, you multiply by, so ang, ang ano dito ay multiply. So multiply by 1,000. Okay? <clears throat> so convert it to indicated units. Of course, and then you steps from 15 hectometer to decimeter to convert from hectometer to decimeter. We start at the hectometer and move three steps to the right to obtain decimeters. So, yan, yan yung rules, okay? And then to convert from meter to kilometers, we start at meters and move three steps to the left to obtain kilometers. Since we move the decimal point three places to the left. All right, so example, Ramon began 7-kilometer hike on Monday by 453 meters. He walked 2 kilometer on Tuesday and 544 meter on Wednesday. How many meters must he walk to complete the hike? Okay, so we have here, of course, so 7 kilometer is 7,000 7, meters. Diba? 2 kilometers is 2,000 meters, okay? So, multiplied, of course, um, by 1,000. That is, 1,000 is equal to 1 kilometer. No? So, um, you add all the required meters. So, 2,000 plus 453 plus 454. That is, and then subtract it from the 7,000 kilometer. Uh, 7,000 meters. So, the average is 403 meters. Okay, so the customary units of land is, siyempre, narinig nyo to lagi, 12 inches is equal to 1 foot, 36 inches is equal to 1 yard, and 3 feet is equal to 1 yard. Of course, 5,280 uh, 5, feet is equal to 1 mile. So, but meron dagdag dito. <clears throat> uh, I don't know, nasa na nga ba yun? May, may dagdag dyan. So we have uh, 
Okay, so mamaya pa pala yun. Okay, so another way to convert from one unit to another is called dimensional analysis. So in this procedure, we use the unit fraction. So ito po yung mga unit fraction na gagamitin natin. So 1 foot is equal over 12 inches or 12 inches is over 1 foot. 1 yard over 36 inches or 36 inches over 1 yard. 1 yard over 3 feet. Okay, remember, 3 feet is equals to 1 yard. Yan. 1 mile is 5,280 feet or 5,280 feet is equals to 1 mile. For example, uh, we have 8 feet is equals to inches. So we need to eliminate feet and introduce inches. So inches must appear in the numerator and feet must appear in the denominator. So hence, we use the unit fraction 12 inches over 1 foot. So 8 feet, that is, no? 8 feet over 1. Of course, the denominator of whole number is 1. So cancel natin tong feet. Inches na natira. So 8 times 12 is 96 inches. Okay, so this is the final answer. Ayan. So to convert, so we have 144 inches to yard. Of course, to convert 144 inches to yard, yard should appear in numerator and inches in denominator. So we use the unit 1 yard over 36 inches and proceed as follows. Okay, so 144 inches over 1 times 1 yard over 36. So we cancel natin yung inches. So, don't forget to do that. Wala, wala lang ako pang cancel dito, pero ano. Okay, so we have 144 over 36. The unit will be yard, so that is 4 yards. Okay. Naintindihan nyo yung na-explain ko, ha? Do you understand, guys? Opo. Okay, so the body has 45 miles of nerves. How long is is it in feet? Okay, so ang haba ng ano ng nerves natin. So 45 miles times 5,280 feet. Cancel natin yung miles. Okay, so that is about 237,600 feet. Okay, so it's 600 feet. I mean, ganong kahaba ang ating mga nerves sa katawan. So the, thus, the human body has 237,600 feet of nerves. All right, so we have also approximate English and metric equivalent. So, ito mas common din na gamit natin, no? Kung ang ruler ninyo may inches at saka centimeters, ito yung lumalabas, okay? So, for one inch, that's 2.54 centimeter. One foot is equals to 30.38 centimeters. One yard is equals to 0 0.9 meters. And one meter is equals to 3.28 feet. One mile is equals to 1.6 kilometer. Okay? So you will be using this. So for example, convert its measure to the indicated measurement. All right? So we have three... 184,400 kilometers, so the distance from the Earth to the Moon. Okay, so to convert that, of course, kailangan natin yung 1 mile over 1.6 kilometer as the unit fraction. So that's why, no, 